how to fix a flat tire. Okay. So you need a few things. If you go to Daiso, a 100 yen shop, get a puncture repair kit. Okay, you got your glue, your patch, and your tool to take off the tire. And then you're gonna need a bucket of water and a pump. Okay, so let's go ahead and I'll show you how to remove the, the tool. You don't have to take off the tire just to patch it because it's very complicated to remove everything. Um, so we just want to patch it up, right? Okay, I'll show you how to do that. So these uh, Japanese bikes have a little valve here, a little rubber thing to keep the air in. So first, yeah, this goes in like this, yeah. and then this piece locks it in place and screw that in, right? So to take it off, just unscrew that, and if the tire is inflated, be careful because this, this will shoot out. You don't want to lose that. Okay, then you have to remove this piece here. This, this kind of keeps the tire, the valve stem hanging out. Okay. Okay, now with this uh, 100 yen shop thing, it includes these tools here. Now these are gonna remove Tire from, so we can get the tube out. Stick that in there. It has a little hook here. Put it on the rim. So you got one side out. And go to the next one here. We can lock that in. Take this one out. Just kind of move along. Okay, then after you get like a few of those, you can just use your fingers. Okay, there we go. Okay, so uh, if you're not familiar with Japanese bikes, these have these kind of uh, rear stands, so it's nice pulls the whole bike up instead of just a side stand keeps it nice and balanced okay so once we have the tire off just one side you don't have to remove the tire you could just take the tube out just take it out a little bit so I already did a patch before Usually, if you go to the bike shop, they'll try to sell you a whole new tire. Um, they recommend doing the tire and tube at the same time. But this tire is fairly new, and the tube's fairly new. But they already got it. This is the second flat. Okay, so go ahead and take that out. Okay, now we have our tube out, right? Okay, so let's put this piece back in. Put that little lock. Okay. Now, the next trick is to pump it up. So if you have your little pump here, stick that in like that. Put a little air in it. I'm gonna have to lock it. There you go. Okay. 
Okay, now our little bucket comes in handy. Okay, now to find the hole, I'm just gonna put the tube in the water, little by little, until we see some bubbles. it through a little bit, wiggle it just a little bit. So once again, we're just looking for some bubbles to appear, so we know where our hole is. If you don't have a bucket, you can use a water bottle. Just spray it all around till you see some bubbles. Put a little dish soap in there. Oh. No bubbles yet. Oh. Nothing. Hmm. Must be a really small hole. Oh. Hmm. Okay, we found it guys, right next to the valve. There it is, see those bubbles? Okay, there you go, there's our hole right here. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna get a pen and then draw a little circle around it. Okay. And then we can go ahead and I'll show you how to patch it up. So, be right back. See that right there? There's a hole right there. So let's go ahead and try to patch it up. So, I like to just uh, get an idea of how big the patch is. And then, now when you buy it new, on the cap has a little pointer there. So just, when you take it off, it's, it's a hair seal. So you just use the cap to poke it. Poke. Uh, and open that up. Okay, and just put the glue on. You want it to be about the same same size as your patch. So there was a, here it is. Okay, so I'm just gonna use your finger, make it just about the same shape. Okay, and just let that sit for about, it says about three to five minutes. Okay, so we'll come back in three three minutes. Okay, so it's been a couple minutes. You can see our clues kind of dry. And then you just peel off the patch. 
and then apply right over the hole. Boom, right there. That's pretty good. Now if you have a little hammer here, with a little flat smooth head, you could just kind of bang that. Make sure it's all nice. Or you could just use your thumb and smash it really hard. Since I have a hammer, I give it a couple whacks. Okay. Now what I like to do is just peel a little side off, make sure it's stick. There it is. Okay, boom, there you go. Now I just put it back on again. Get a couple more backs. Especially the corners, make sure the corners are all good. Okay. Now, that's it. Let's see how it goes. Let's go ahead and pump up the tire again. Dump it in the water. And if there's no more bubbles, we're all set. Successful patch. All right. So for 100 yen, not bad. Okay. So now we just reverse the process. Go ahead and take off your well. Okay. Then we want to put everything back on. Uh, well, first what I like to do is just kind of. Run my fingers and make sure there's no pin or anything. That looks alright. Okay, so here's our our valve hole there. Go ahead and start here. That's where this thing comes in. A little piece here. Go ahead and screw that on so it doesn't come out. After you pump it up, you can really put that on nice and tight. Okay, and you just feed your tube through. Stem lock. There it is. Mm. Okay, that's kind of now using your both fingers here, it's kind of the, the tire back on the rim. Little by little. Okay, now when you get to the end, it's kind of tight, so you have to double finger it. Need some muscles. Push, push, push. Okay, there it goes. Okay. 
Boom, it's on now. Okay, now what I like to do is uh, give it a little air, just a little bit first to let the tube um, get in this, the right shape. Because when I put it in, it was probably a little crooked. I'll just pump it up a little bit. Put a little air in there. Okay, you can feel a little air went in there. And then I like to just make sure the tire's on good. Kind of squeeze it around. Make sure it's not hanging off in strange places. So when you put the tube in, it kind of probably all tangled. So this, when you pump it up a little bit, kind of straightens it out. Make sure the tire's on the rim. Okay, we can go, go ahead and see how it came off a little bit there, so I can tighten that up a little more. And then uh, I like to do it one more time. Okay. Make sure that's it right. Tight. Okay, I massaged it in. Okay, it looks good. Now we can go ahead and pump it up all the way. After that, we need the power. It's going to stand up. So depending how heavy you are, what kind of ride, that feels nice and tight. Okay, I'll give it up. Okay. So we'll come back and check in about an hour. It should be nice and fine though, because I checked. There you go guys. So for 100 yen, go get the Daiso, get yourself a repair kit. You can do it yourself. Alright. So if you take that to the bike shop, uh, usually I think it's like 10 bucks. But uh, you know, why not do it yourself? Then you have some extras here for, for next time. Okay. So uh, if you like the video, please uh, like and subscribe for more content. Okay guys, thanks a lot for watching and peace out. So over and out. Bye.